The leadership hopeful says sorry for his party's actions in office on one of the key issues of the race. Tom Tugendhat has apologized for his party's immigration record while in government, setting himself apart from one rival. Speaking to GB News this evening, the shadow security minister said he, absolutely, apologizes for the record high influx when the Tories were in power. It came as figures today showed a drop in the number of people entering the UK to work in the NHS and social care a result of last-minute reforms by former Home Secretary James Cleverley, asked if he would like to apologise for the Tories letting net immigration rise over 760,000 in 2022, Mr Tugendhat bluntly replied, absolutely. He added, we've all got to stand on our record. We've got to make sure immigration is at a level that the British people and British society can integrate. The reason I apologise is because we can see the effects, right? We can see the effects in communities across the United Kingdom. But this isn't just about pointing at the problem. It's about fixing it. And that's why what we really need is a massive economic change because we need Brits to be taking the jobs that we are talking about now. That means changing the way we pay, changing the way we invest and actually changing the British economy. Because frankly, at the moment it's not delivering properly for the British people. The Tory leadership hopeful added that he would pledge to cut net migration if he wins the contest. He told GB News political editor Christopher Hope, I'm interested in the levels that we saw between 1990 and sort of 2010. It was about 100,000, roughly 120. There isn't an exact number because it's going to depend on what you need. But look, that's the ballpark figure we're looking at, right? Mr. Tugendhat also told the channel that it is absolutely wrong to dismiss concerns about immigration as a far-right issue. He said the tragic Southport stabbing should not allow the debate around immigration to be devalued. Mr. Tugendhat's apology sets him apart from Priti Patel, who sparked consternation when she refused to apologize for her record as Home Secretary. She said the Tories do not have to say sorry and argued it was lazy to suggest net migration rose too high.